Incredible how tons of gallons of lime juice made in factory. The production of juice on a commercial scale requires the use of a range of equipment for washing the fruit, crushing, screening raw juice from coarse pulp and seeds and setting vats. Watch till the end and click subscribe and the bell button on the channel to see more videos like this. Let's go! Before considering the equipment in detail, the requirements for lime fruit processing should be first assessed on the throughput of the crushing unit relevant to the quantities of fruit to be handled. It is generally accepted at the best compromise from the point of view of both quality and quantity of lime products. Is obtained by processing mature but not fully ripe fruit. Example, half yellow, half green limes. Juice fruit on ripe lime is said to have a more interesting flavor than juice obtained from fully ripe limes. Only sound fruit should be crushed, over rib, rotten, and damaged limes should be removed before washing. Limes should be thoroughly washed with cold water before processing so that they are perfectly clean when entering the crusher. This is particularly important when limes have been picked up from the ground as they may be very muddy in the raining season and all mud must be removed. Watery cage type washes work very well. Also, water jets can be sprayed on conveyor belts along which the lime travels from the arrival point to the crushers. Another conveyor belt for final inspection is needed to remove any damaged fruit and to transport the limes to the crusher. The two main types of equipment employed for crushing limes are the roller crusher or the screw press expeller. The juice extracted by the crusher should pass through screens for the removal of corpse, pulp and pips. The waste skins can be removed either by a suitably placed conveyor or by removable waste box. The former is preferable, particularly when working at maximum throughput of the machine. In the West Indies, the raw juice is usually collected in wooden boxes. or stainless steel box in one case, placed under the mill. The raw juice is screened through stainless steel mesh, 16 mesh and 32 mesh. Screening is often done by hand brushing. Although a rotary stainless steel screen is used in one factory, Crusher and screens must be kept scrupulously clean and scrubbed down thoroughly after each day's crushing. Settling vests are normally wooden and cylindrical. The cleanliness of lime setting vats are not usually coated on the inside, although the inside may be painted. scrubbed out and steamed at regular intervals. Raw juice is fed into the settling vats by gravity or is pumped. It is worth remembering that if electricity is unreliable, a manual and or mechanical juice pump is essential. The valve through which settle 
juice is drawn off should be as near to the bottom of the vat as is practicable in order that settled juice is not wasted. The height of the tap above the bottom of the vat will depend on the amount of bottom pump which accumulates during settling. If limes are coming in at 10 tons a day, then the vat will be filled within two days. For the beginning and end of the season of vats of 850 gallons, may surface and clearly a balance should be struck between large and small vats where different requirements are needed such as bulk storage. For shipment overseas, the single strain juice will be costly. To transport in drums and the juice may be concentrated to about five times for economy in transport costs. This requires expensive equipment and consequently a high production level of juice is needed to offset the capital costs of concentrators. They are marked as single strain juices or as concentrates. Clarify lemon juice in small bottles. Preserved with sulfur dioxide is available as a culinary condiment. Single strain lime juice may be blended with sugars, syrups, water, or carbonated water, and bottled in glass or sealed in metal cans. They may remain stable without refrigeration up to a year or longer. That's the end for today. Thank you for watching the video. Any other agricultural technology that you want us to have included? Let us know in the comments section. See you in the next video.